Minato knew his duty as the Okage took top priority. He had to do it. He had to seal the Nine Tails inside his one and only son. He was hoping his son would be recognized as a hero. Oh, how wrong he was. After the deaths of Minato and Kushina, the Nine Tails lurked inside Naruto over the years, trying to find a way out of his cage. He came up with a plan to make the people of Konoha fear and despise the young Naruto, more than they already did. Kurama would give him access to a special ability, an ability that is very rare. So rare in fact that there are only 9 individuals in the entire world that have this ability at one time. Those individuals are the 9 Jinchuriki. That special ability was when they drew blood. They would transform into a large monster known as a titan. Each titan was unique to their specific Jinchuriki and Biju, but no Biju had been sadistic enough to allow that. So, it was an ability that hadn't been seen in hundreds of years. And no current shinobi knows about the ability, only the biju. And even then, they only dare allow their host to transform, if it is a matter of life and death. And even if it is, the possibility is incredibly low. After about 7 years had passed, Kurama decided to talk with the young Naruto. Aren't you tired of this unwanted hate? Aren't you tired of crying yourself to sleep at night? Y yes Well then, why don't you just give in? You know I've been the only one for you. Who taught you how to read? It was I. Who was there for your first words? I was. You see, Naruto, we are one in the same. What are you talking about? We have a bond that transcends a normal human's comprehension. It's kind of ironic in a way. I took away your father from you, just to take his place. Naruto's heart begins to beat so aggressively that Naruto feels as if it will jump right out. I, I don't understand. Why me? Why do I have to go through all of this? Why indeed? Why does everyone discriminate against you for something you have never done? That's something I have yet to figure out myself. But we can change that. What do you mean? Who is the one person they respect in these villages? It's the Kage. Now, why do they respect them? This is because of their strength. This world runs off of strength and talent alone. People aren't born equal, and never will be. Shut up already! I, I get it, I I'm weak! Oh, but on the contrary, my young friend. You see, you have all the power you could ever possibly want. Power surpassing the Kage themselves. All you have to do is grab that kunai on your desk, and cut open your hand. Are you crazy? Just trust me, it will work. All you need to do is envision yourself overflowing with power. Naruto was hesitant at first, but he decided to give it a try. Naruto did this while he was in his apartment, as he shakily held the kunai to his hand and pierced downward. He feels the stinging sensation almost instantly, as his blood flows simultaneously. Naruto holds his breath, waiting for something to happen but it's nothing but silence. Right when Naruto's about to ask Kurama what's going on, he feels a sudden shake from thunder, and his roof has disappeared. Naruto looks up in shock to see a second beam of lightning crashing down from the sky, striking him and turning him into a titan. Titan Naruto had destroyed his apartment in the complex it was on. He walked onto the streets of Konoha and roared. His roar could be heard throughout all of Konoha. That's when he began to go on a rampage. Titan Naruto began destroying building after building, crushing the villagers like they were nothing, blood and guts splattering as he squashed them. The third Okage ordered all the ninja to attack and take down this beast. But they were nothing compared to the monster that Naruto had become. All the while, Naruto had no recollection of the events that had transpired. Eventually, he woke up and looked around, surveying his surroundings. 
He looked to be above the Okage Monument. He was confused how he got here. Ah, uh, my head. What the hell happened? You gained the power and took revenge upon this who brought you harm. The people who destroyed you. Just look at what you, no we, accomplished, Kurama stated. Naruto looked down at the village, hearing what the Ninetales had said. What? What the fuck happened to the village? There's so, so much of it's in ruins. Did, did I do this? Yes, my boy, you did this. However, this is only the beginning. You, no we, will become the most powerful beings, and no one will be able to stop us. No one will hurt me again? I'll show them all. With this power, this titan, I'll become a god. <laughs> <laughs> I won't claim to be some self-righteous god, no. I'll just bring prosperity to the ones who deserve it, or destruction to the ones that I see fit. Good. But note this, boy. If anyone finds out that you are the monster, or titan, rather, that attacked the village, you will need to kill them. From that point on, the young Naruto trained with the Ninetales' help began to hone his abilities all throughout his time at the academy until he finally became a ninja and today was that day now i want to give a big thanks to you know storm videos for having me on uh if you don't know who i am already i am what a sensei i have a channel uh yeah just there should be a the second part should be on my channel of this if you enjoyed the series um yeah it took a little bit a bit uh, because our schedules did not align uh, uh that was really the only reason why we didn't fucking have this out like maybe a week or two earlier i don't really know the time frame because honestly time just flies by for most people during this covid pandemic hope everyone's safe uh again thank a big thanks to storm videos for allowing me to collab with him uh he's a pretty cool dude if you haven't subscribed to his channel at all yet make sure to subscribe dude's got some pretty banger content uh, it's pretty entertaining especially his newer stuff i like how he's starting to show his face it's a lot more uh, entertaining and more I, I i like to laugh at this shit so yeah, subscribe. I'm out. Alright, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, then be sure to drop a like, comment, and subscribe. I mean, it's free. Also, be sure to go check out What a Sensei. Link to his channel will be down in the description below. If you like my content, then you will definitely like his content. And be sure to drop him a sub as well. It's free also. Also, be sure to go follow the socials. Those will be down in the description as well. Also, the other channels as well. And yeah, I will catch you all in the next video. And part 2 will probably be on What a Sensei's channel. So be on the lookout for that. Anyways, I will catch you all in the next one. Peace.